Safe snowmobiling means more than holding onto the handlebars when you're doing 80 miles an hour. Utah Avalanche Forecast Center officials and state parks personnel have tips for you on having a safe snowmobile experience. Want to have a beacon? Yeah underneath my clothes okay this thing is on the outside of my jacket it's going to get ripped off avalanches are very violent events i also want to have a shovel and a probe and i keep this in my backpack and i want to have all of this stuff on my person i want to have the shovel and probe together in my backpack and i want to have that on my person if i'm separated from my safety gear then i'm going to be separated from the possibility of helping my partner who's buried Towards the end of the day, I uh, found a hill that didn't have any tracks on it, so I proceeded to climb it. When I got about half to three quarters of the way up the hill, I could see cracks. I could see snow starting to come down. So I knew that there was a problem, so I started turning out of it. and got turned out of it, I started down the hill and I had my snowmobile pegged as fast as it'll go down the hill. Hitting large chunks of stuff, getting bounced all over the place. It jarred me quite a bit and I can remember jumping through the air with the snowmobile for a second and I fell off the back. Um, my snowmobile actually launched up through the air. Um, I fell off on my back and started to slide head first down the hill just kind of like a wave took me over I can remember just kind of floating kind of floating rolls of uh, snow it stopped um, I tried to move but there was no moving whatsoever in the whole process of this the avalanche the only things I could move was my toes and my boots because there was room in them and I knew I had to control my breathing so I relaxed took sh nice shallow breaths to conserve the oxygen that I had in that space I did black out the first thing that I can remember when I woke up was I coughed and I rolled over and threw up because they were doing CPR on me um, I guess they were talking to me for a good five to ten minutes and I was answering them but I can't remember what I was telling them. I've got some fire starting equipment, I've got a, a survival whistle, I've got a compass, I've got some tin foil, poncho, space blanket, granola bars. Okay, I always have, I wear an avalanche beacon and that way um, if I get caught in an avalanche my partner had two and this is on and working and so um, if I'm buried in an, in an avalanche um, my, this is on and my partner can hone in on where I'm at and he will be able to find me and dig me out. If I uh, didn't have a beacon that day I guarantee I wouldn't be coming out alive and I give special thanks to every single one of those guys for knowing exactly what they needed to do that day.